Alright, as you can see, we're practically finished. I went in with uh, my various liquid watercolors and brightened up a few of the areas with the green and the gold. Now we're ready for the shadows. What I've done is taken uh, some of the Payne's Gray and some Violet, mixed it together. And that's what I'm going to use for the shadows, but it's pretty dark, so I'm going to lighten it up a whole bunch when I use it. And we're going to go in and start making some of the last shadow details in there. Just to help bring the picture back together. Just start inside the ears here and very lightly come in with the kind of purple that we have here. And again, a little bit goes a long, long way. So we want to use it very sparingly, very gently. To help make those shadows a little bit more prominent. But I don't want to have too heavy of a shadow. Because sometimes it just doesn't look too good in watercolors. And this is a a fairly happy piece, so we don't need a lot of beam shadows here to make it look creepy. If you get too much, you can just add more water and kind of pat it out. Put a little bit in there underneath his nose. It's a little too light, so I have a little bit more color. There we go. Take some of that out again. Do around the side of his nostril there. The other eye. A little bit of shadow between his brows. And a little bit under his chin. And we'll hit his other ear. A little bit of his forehead here. And do some shadows along the clothing here. Now you want to be real careful with the liquid watercolor because it can end up being a little bit shiny if you do a little bit too much and you don't add enough water and if you decide you want to scan the work in and uh, digitize it to make prints or whatever it can um, not work too well so you want to be real careful that it doesn't get shiny and too heavy. Um, you'll find that happens a lot with uh, the liquid inks that are uh, calligraphy inks or India ink, colored India ink. That's why I don't really use that if I plan on uh, making prints of anything or they might be able to do it professionally, but if you're going to do it on your home printer and scanner, it's not going to work out too well. Because if it's shiny and you put it in the scanner, it's, it's going to reflect the light back and you're going to have these big splotches and it doesn't look very nice. Okay, get a little shadow here. As you can see, it's picking up some of the green there, so be really careful so you don't wash out the paint. As you can see, it's already helping to pull together the whole picture, which is nice because it's a little bit fragmented. There we go. And some more down here. That got a bit dark. We're going to have to lighten that up some. You can also use a uh, Q-tip. Kleenex works fine. Just keep it nice and clean. 
clearer than mine anyway. Overall, this is looking pretty good. I'm liking it. Put it underneath where the shadows would be cast. Against the fabric and the skin there. A little bit more emphasis of shadow on the side of the cuff. Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. Yeah. A little bit under here. Oh, that's way too dark, so I'm going to lighten that out. There we go. Some shadow on the table there. Don't want it to get too dark. Some more water. There we go. And pretty much you just keep going like how you see me, putting the shadows where they need to be. And I'm pretty much going to use the same color for all the shadows, and it's going to help tie things together real well. So I don't run out of time or bore you to death, I'm going to go ahead on this with my own, add in the rest of the details. Well, you probably want to see me doing the wing, so let me do that real quick. Gonna take more of that color, come in here and do underneath some of the wings and the shadow cast by the arm here. I want to keep it nice light, but again, we can come back in later and uh, hit it with some white ink, which I'm probably gonna do anyway, just to add in some nifty details. But you want to try to keep the white ink to a minimum because it can end up looking sort of tacky if you do too much of it. And you can do some of the details of the, the feather bits. Again, you don't want to do every single one. It'll end up looking kind of silly. Just a little bit here and there to, like you did on the hair, to just suggest. Because it's already a stylization anyway, so just do a few here and there. Let them know it's nice and silky. Under here and do some more. And pretty much it's just you keep on going like that. Add in a little bit more water. Feather it out. And I'm going to keep on going like that and we'll be back uh, to show how I'm going to finish this off. Hold on.